Right, plum, door, gas, petrol tank, flap, cover thing. I'm not sure about this one, but it is cool. So, but it won't be everyone's cup of tea. I can see it's gonna be one of those Marmite things. So what is it? So this actually replaces your plastic fuel flap. Boom, boom. Okay, with a one with a little window in, so you can see your petrol cap. It adds a little in the way of functionality. It adds a little in the way of robustness. It just allows people to see that under here, there's a fuel cap. But it's kind of cool. It's, it's one of those things, what, why, but why not? <laughs> why not? There we go. So we are going to show you how to fit it. But this video might be useful for you if you are changing something on your fuel flap anyway. And I'll put a little bonus feature in. Yeah, I'll do a little bonus feature. Right then. Okay, so that is going to go on there. So we've got to take this out. So we're going to take the wheel arch liner, a couple of poppers out of there. We're going to get in. We're going to pop a little few tabs off. We're going to pop it out. And then I think we've got to get this pin out here. So there'll be a corresponding pin on there. And then we'll do that. But a bonus feature for those that we're working on. All right. A screwdriver. I didn't even plan to do this. I just make this up. There is on the end of here a little flap and it's on the black part and it pushes against the white part. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the screwdriver in and push that apart and then you'll see, look, I can push that in there and then that goes go on, out there. There you go. And then you can slide this off, right? I mean, that's not that exciting, Simon. It gets better, right? So that just slides back on. And it's this little bit here. And if you come around this side, Kate, see what it is, as it, as it slides in, it goes over that little ramp, which stops it coming off. And I press that little ramp in with my screwdriver and then it's on rails and it cuts off. But look what we got here. I'll tell you, a little bit of blue tack, look. And we've got one of these little air, what are they called, air tags. I've blue tacked one of these air tags in here. And this you can locate with your mobile phone. So it's my anti-theft device, look. So if you steal the stick, there's a little tag in here that will tell you. And we're gonna do a whole video on air tags, and I've done most of the video, and we'll put it up. But that is the secret location. And it's good there because the fuel cap is, this is plastic. And so there's no reduction in the transmission through the metal. So it's like on the outside of the car, but no one knows it's there, it's out of the weather. And that will tell me where my car is. Brilliant, air tags, right. Right, but we're going to lose our air tag little cavity, but we'll find another one. Right, so let's get on. So, right, dive under here, Kate, okay, let's have a look. So, we have got the wheel arch liner. I've got it half out here. Um, we're going to pull a couple of poppers. There's a, that one at the back there. So, it's one of those two-part poppers that you've got to get the middle bit out and then pull that out. Now, this one, there's one around the side here as well. This one is an annoying one because it's a two-part popper, but... the Normally, on this style, you can see it's a two-part popper because when it's in, you can see the, the head and the rim. But on this one, the head covers the rim. So it's a super frustrating one because you end up trying to pull the whole lot out. But there we go. So that's that. And then what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to pull this down. Right. And then up in there, we've got the fuel flap. Now, I've got one off the car. I'll grab it and we'll have a look at what we're doing. Yeah, Kate wanted to see my air tag, so that's the air tag there. Um, and yeah, literally, I just got some blue tack and just made a little thing and just rammed it in there. And it's, as long as it sits sub flush, it's in there tracking my car all the time. I know where you are, Stig. No running off. Right, where were, where were, yes. God, we make this up as we go along. So this is what the sort of this cavity looks like. And it's this pin here we're going to have to work out how to grind out or we're gonna to have to disassemble that spring but right now we need to pop this assembly out now for those of you are uh, eagle eye you'll have noticed my car doesn't have the add blue and you'll notice my car only has one now if you've got the add blue this will be slightly different you'll obviously have two apertures and two caps and i think it's even more complicated on the p400e plug-in hybrid apparently you've got some other gubbins so it's quite easy right and another thing I'll mention before we go too far, this is the fuel flap off the 90. It's this shape and this size, of the 110. This is the fuel flap off our 90. Fixes exactly the same way. What you will notice is they are different sizes, look. Can you see that? One, one is short than the other. So these 
fuel flap things from Plum, you can only fit them at the moment. They only do them for the 110. So all you 90 boys, tough luck. Right then, here we go. So let's, I'm gonna get my hands underneath, push those little tabs down, and then see if I can pop it all towards me. I will have to take off the petrol cap. Oh, he's all twisted up. Woo! Shall I perch him up there for the minute? He can live there, right. So let me get my grubby little hands under here before we get intoxicated with petrol fumes. Push up on those those flaps under there, those little grippy bits. Mm. Oh, they quick? Here we go. Oh, that's, look, that's one out, look. look at that. oh, where's that other one? He's around here somewhere. I think I'm probably better off doing this by feel than by... Let me, let me try the... Top ones. Oh, I got a top one. I want a top one. Go on. There you go. Oh, let me see. Oh, I've got two. I'm two out of four. There's a bracket under here that's made it made it a little tricky. Let me see. We're two out. Can I? Oh, look. There we go. Right. Right. Yeah, we've got the the problem we've got here is this bit is sat behind the bodywork there. It doesn't seem to make a lot of difference if that's open or closed. So that's sat right in behind here. So I can't put it out this way. I'm gonna have to try and slide it, but I've got the filler. I've got the filler neck here is static. So I've got to get, I've got to get this over and past that filler neck. I've got to get that rubber, that rubber bit there past the filler neck. Oh, it doesn't want to, I've had this off before is the annoying thing. Because I'm I can only go that far. You can see it there. That's stopping me that way. So I'm I'm gonna have to just let me see if I can get that. Oh, can I get that? Urgh. There we go, there we go, yeah. So I've pulled that rubber sleeve over. Now that should allow me. Now there is a wire connected here. Okay, so we've got a little, well, I've got to pull that little, there's a little tab, a little gray tab here. Well, I've got to pull down slightly. Can you see that gray tab there, Kate? Coming from yeah, the side a bit, yeah. yeah. And then, and then I've got to pull that down. So yeah, so I had to, that little tab, you've got to pull it up a little bit and then push on it and that'll release that. Now there should be a breather pipe somewhere Okay, so we've got the breather pipe there. Actually, I don't know if it's a breather or just a drain tube. So let me see how to disconnect. Interestingly, this one came with it connected also. How do you reckon that's attached, Kate? Right. Let's have a... Is it a pull? Oh, look, look, I can push it that way. And it's got like a, a barbed end on it. So let me try on this scrap one. Can Because it's rubber, can we just... Oh, he's, I'm trying to just pull it. It's tight though. There's no clip round there. It looks like it clearly comes from the other end. Um, so let, let's see. Maybe maybe we, we don't need to get too carried away. Maybe we could just leave it dangling there. Because all we need to get to is this bit. So let's have a go at disconnecting the spring now. In fact, let's put... The, I could put the fuel cap back on. Um, let's... Have a go at disconnecting this spring and seeing how we extract this here. Yep. So here you go, we've got this spring here. Now, what I've got to do is disconnect this end. So I think if I get the pliers on it there and twist it, there, that comes out. And then I guess at some point I'll be able to, I'll be able to get that out of there. All right, and we'll need to reuse that. All right, now, it's what is holding this cap on. So is that turning? We need to somehow get this pin out this way. All right, let's have a let's have a look. See if that. How is that? How have they stop that pin? I can see something in there. How do we extract? Oh, I wonder if they've. Because I can't see it there. I wonder if. I wonder if I can drift that pin out in the middle. Let me have a look. Right, I'm going to see if I can 
drift that pin out that's in there. There's something in there. Let me just rest it on there. Well, look, it's, yeah, that's come to the end now. If I go over the edge a little bit. Right, you're probably all screaming at the camera now. I think that middle, <coughs> middle bit is this bit. So I can't rest on there. I need to rest on here and then rest on the main casing and then tap that and drift it out. Right. Ah, look. That's going now. I've, okay, so it looks like... Oh, it's, it's got something funky going on, isn't it? There. Right, so what... How does that work? So that is the pin that goes in in there, and it must you must have to get it at a certain like a key. Yeah, it must have a certain key. If I look through the hole there. Yeah, there is some key in there. So you'll have to make sure we get it in the same position. And if the flap is closed, we'll need to make sure it's at the right. Yeah, it looks like it's. With the flap closed, the flap open, that looks right, doesn't it? So it's at that, so with the flap closed, it's at that sort of nine o'clock position there. Um, there you go. And then that comes out. So now obviously this is just, and obviously you can then disconnect that spring. So let's have that out again. Okay. So, and then we should be able to withdraw that. So we need to retain this case, um, and obviously we're just trusting this on our spare one. We need to retain this case, but we don't need that. And I don't think we need that pin, but we do need the spring. Right, so now we know what we've done, doing, so say. Um, so we've got the flap. I, don't know, I, think it, I think it was easier opened. I tried this before, which almost, all right, let's take that. There we go, that goes out there. And I think when you put it back in, it's the same way. If you put it there and you literally just pull it back in with your pliers, um, and I think you'll find you can get it in. All right, so that's detached now. Now I think if I use, I'm gonna try and just extract it out from the, what we've got. Do you need the flap shut? I don't think it matters, but we'll, we'll, we'll tidy it up. Let's put, put that inside, because he's blobbing about. And put that there. Okay, all right, and then we'll try and see if we can just lever him up. Yeah. He should, we should be able to extract him upwards. I don't want to break it. Oh yeah, look, that, that didn't take too much, did it? All right, so there's my spring gone, all right, and then that's gone. Right, so we're now dis dismantled. Right, let's have a look what we need to do to reassemble it. One thing I didn't say, you don't need to jack the car up like we have. You could just put your air suspension up and that will give you room to get at those clips and stuff. Right, um, so there's a little Allen key in the end of this shaft here. I reckon that's going to unscrew that. Okay, right. Don't lose the washer. Oh, uh. How long is he? There we go. So right, so there's that. So now I should be able to, let's get it the right way up. So we can take this out. And look, they've engineered that the same, look. So this then can, oh, hold on, I've got to take that out with my air tag, haven't I? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I disconnected the wire, I thought it's gonna be locked. Oh. But luckily when you disconnect the wire, it defaults to unlocked. Right, so how does that, oh, I've got everything in my hand, Kate. I got, I got carried away. Right, here we go. So we're gonna to have to reattach our fuel thing, but does that then just, we, we, there you go, that just pulls out. There you go, right, put that to the side. Right, then get the new one, well done. Right, I've put the bit in my pocket, there you go. Right, so we've got to get that in, round there, and we've got to look down through that hole, and it should, there we go, yeah, we can see it. Right, and then with it closed, we need it at the nine o'clock position. Right, so if we get that down, this needs to be, 
been just past the nine o'clock position. So let's give it a little, oh yeah, there's something there. Right, there's that. I guess it's got to pass through that end there. What's happening there, Keith? I guess we've got to line it up. There you go. Yeah. Right, so that's all in now. So when I open and close the flap, look, that moves. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right, so there we go. So now I need, now this, oh, good point, the spring. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna to have to extract that a little bit to get the spring in. Right, so it's that cranked end of the spring that needs to go up through and in there, there you go. Right, and then push him down again. Right. Oh, right. You're doing a good job there, Kate's. You reckon you can get this on now, do you? Yeah, and then we'll get yeah. the screw on last. Screw on off. Right, so let's have a go. This is this could be the tricky bit. I got towards you. Ah, there you go. That's it. Yeah, well, that made the difference, isn't it? Grab it on that bit of the spring, get that in, and now that gives me the nice open and close springy motion. We're there. Thank you. Right. Okay, so then. You can put that in the in the back of there. Right. You could put some Loctite on it if you were super keen. There you go. That's going to a that's going to a stop. All right. Now let's have a look. Let's check before we snap it all in. Yep. That opens. That closes. That's all okay, isn't it? Yep. That's all good. Right. So let's have a think now. So we've got everything reattached. Ah, right, so let's not forget we've got to reconnect that cable for the lock. So let's get that cable back in. Right, snap him back on. Right, okay, so that's on. Push that gray pin back up, that locks it. Right, and then we've got to get that back end in first, haven't we? There's just enough room. Whoa. Maybe I'll have to do the wire. I'm gonna maybe I'll do the wire second. Oh no, look, look, look. If you go up there, look. That, that helps. That gives us enough room. Then we're round. Now we've got to look for the fuel filler neck. Right, there he is. There he is. Oh, that goes on easier than it come off, doesn't it? It does. There you go. Just dress him there, and then this should just clip in. Right, fuel cap. So we now need to remove the fuel cap out of here. Now, have they given... Oh, look, Kate. Is there a hole there for the little barb fitting to go in? Yeah. There is. Right, so let's extract this little... See if we can do this without breaking it. There we go. Right, okay. Pop that in there. Oh, we're going to boss this, Kate. We're going to look like we know what we're doing. Professional. Professional as ever. Right, right, is that the right size? That hasn't always you need I think I need a little screwdriver just to tuck that in. Let's get that petrol cap on. Right, I'll just get a little screwdriver just to poke that in. Right, so I think there's just a little bit of the barb. Okay, I just push him in. There you go. Alright, so that's all in. Right. <laughs> is it worth it all? Is it worth the, and we've got to check that the catch works as well, that the lock-in petrol, oh look, oh no. Do we have to extract the bit off the other? Yes, look. So there must be something off here that goes in there. Because otherwise we haven't got the springy bit for the, goodness me, this is an ordeal. Right, so how does that come out of there? Does it? Does that push out? Right, so what is keeping that rubber on? So the rubber is retained at the bottom. Right, so if I just gently, we should be able to, we might be able to leave. There you go, so that's just on, getting that back on might be tricky, okay. It's on a little ridge there. So that's that off. Right, and then I can just rotate this and pull it towards me. Right, so let's see. Oh, wowie. Right, so there's only two bits to this, but the trick is getting that lip there over that over. there. So I can go on there. Now, is it one, is one slot bigger than the other? Yeah, you come this way, Kate. And then, 
Right, is one of those slots bigger? Yeah, one is bigger, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And if you look on here, that one's bigger than that one. So put the fat one in there and then twist it. Yeah. So that's sort of holding it there. And then somehow I've got to get that's, that's that's that, that end. end. Yeah. <laughs> if I hold it, and then I've got to get that little, that little back edge. Oh, he's going to be tricky, isn't he? Do you need that little screwdriver? I again? don't need that little screwdriver just to to get or get the bottom on. Oh, he's going to be a fiddle. Let me have a look at that. Right, that's going to be tricky. So I've come up with a second plan. Let's pre-fit that little skirt around there. Move it out of the car, right? So we've got the thick side here, thick side here. Right, I'm going to just grab that there. And I reckon I can get that there. And I reckon I can just push and compress the rubber enough to turn it. Look, there you go. That's all in place. There we go. We might be there. Right. <sighs> look at that. So there you go. And look, oh, my petrol's upside down. <laughs> oh, no. This, yeah, I'm now going to have to rotate my petrol cap every time I fit it. Look. Right. There we go. So that is the plum petrol cap. Fitted. Let us know what you think.